Okay, round one is underway. Starting right on time, good to see. Good luck, Chess Pro, if you're playing. Good luck. Oh, no way. Detroit Leprechaun. Amazon Prime. Hitting us with the hot subscription. Welcome, buddy. Glad to see it. Hope you make some uh, nice orders off Amazon Prime. I really like uh, Amazon Prime. You get a free sub to the chess bras, and on top of that, you get uh, like one day shipping. Very nice. Playing a 1700 here. Let's uh, put on a good show, make a good impression on you guys. Welcome to the stream. Detroit Leprechaun, officially. Let's see. I was trying to play a nice safe system. By the way, I uh, I think this game is going to be uh, very straightforward because this the setup that my opponent is going for here is known to be very good for white. Known to be very good. Hello, beautiful. My queen side bonds should be a, a big deal here. Kind of like a big deal. I might play f3. I think I should play f3, yeah. Stick with the knight. Play king d2. He's gonna play e5, I'm probably gonna play b4. Oh, wow, that's not what I expected at all. I'll just play this. I don't mind his knight coming into e4 at all, because I'll just take it. That doesn't bother me. He's put his pawns all on light squares, guys, and uh, he has a. Uh, Light square bishop, so that's not going to work out too well for the guy. Let's put the rook down here. Um, he's going to play bishop e8, that's fine though. He wants bishop e8, bishop c6. I'm wondering if I can prepare for that in any way. Let's start with this one. So bishop e8 I'll take, and I believe I went a pawn that way. Okay. Bring the bishop back. You will do that. We should play g4. Hmm. Maybe let's prepare it with uh, h3 and g4. Probably gonna play g5. Well, we can't really ask for a better position than this, really. I imagine even the bishop endgames are winning here. Bring our king in. Can we get the king all the way in? I think so. We'll start with this one. So we can defend our pawn, and meanwhile we're just going to play king a5 and king b6. Yeah, that's a good move. That is a good move. Huh. 
we're just gonna have to, uh, we might have to give up our Epon, but the end game is, uh, very, very winning. I had rookie seven here. Uh oh. <laughs> Thought I had rookie seven. Not ideal that one, but I just did there. Let's go here and just push the C pawn now. And we're gonna clean our C pawn. Don't see how you can try to sacrifice the pawn, but just take that. King D8 and Queen. Or, yeah, I might just take the pawn next. Okay, he resigned. Got the first one. They have a website, Charlotte Chess Center. You'll be able to find the tournament there. I do have a hat on. It's uh, barely staying on my head. It's a Golden State hat. Well, Johnny, I think I played this guy last time. I'm not really not in the mood. Yeah, I definitely played this guy last time. I recognize the way that he's playing. Taken and taken knight takes c5. That's a lot. It's a lot better. That would have been a lot better. Controlling that square. Maybe queen c7 here. I think I'll try to decline that trade of bishops. Rook to c8 next turn. Well, e4 hangs the f4 pawn, so I'm gonna go ahead and protect my c pawn. A5, uh, Queen B6, Queen B4, another idea gives me a great endgame. D4 also at some point might give me a good endgame too. D4 takes, Bishop takes F3, Queen F3, and then Pawn takes, and this Pawn is, is very weak there. Yeah, he's really trying to force stuff here. I 
like this. Don't like this at all. Because playing this move is never going to be good. Maybe D4. Maybe D4. No, D4 is not good either. Yikes. Okay, if I get to do this, that's not bad. It's a big mistake by him to take on D5. Maybe a big mistake for me to do that. Me too. Okay, but I think I get quite good play after an AP4. We will see. 35 seconds. Everything here. Wow, I'm just gonna lose. Oh man. This is what happens when the first round takes 25 minutes. Oh man, I'm just getting demolished. Maybe knight e3. I don't want to take this pawn as well. <laughs> this 1900 is uh, playing really bad, but I'm playing even worse. So that means we're both uh, around uh, 1800 right now. It's funny, these beginning games are the most stressful. Just hung an entire piece. Instead of Chewbacca, less than three. Oh man, this uh, guy really botched this one. <laughs> that was pretty bad. That was pretty bad by my uh, Iranian friend over here. I'll take it. First rounds are always the worst. First rounds are always the worst. A win is a win, guys. A win. down to this pong, which means he can't play rook c8 very easily. <laughs> He's gonna go for it with that rook. I play e4 here. Pretty tempting. I'm looking to play this move, if he lets me. Probably just e6 next. Extremely good. Yikes. I don't know how he's getting away with this. Normally, bring a rope to D1, stuff like that. Nothing special. 
think it's just a crushing position. Don't need to overthink it. Maybe bishop e4. e6, knight e6, so just gotta go defend it. But I also have takes and knight e6. Or, sorry, just knight b6, and he's in a bin. Chest him, no, I don't believe this guy's uh, essaying the latest London theory. Oh, did I hang material here? Well, no, knight b6 looks very good. Knight b6 looks winning. Bishop takes, and knight b6 looks even more winning. This is simple enough. It doesn't allow for any counterplay. Mother meeting him sometime soon. Okay, this one's the rook. Do I need to do better than that? Knight g5 looks uh, extremely strong. So does bishop here. Big stakes, I'm setting up queen f7. Also knight g4, knight f6, knight h6, probably leading a mate, so queen f7 and queen f8 is my mate. This still wins material. It's covering that. Oh man, I'm very close to some nice mates. I think this is the simplest. Queen f7, I have knight h6. Otherwise, knight f6 is uh, fairly decisive. Meanwhile, rook d8 is a massive threat. I should just play rook d8, that, that's just killer. But I had this knight g4 idea in my head the whole time. Uh, everything that I'm thinking of is going to be able to get played here, so... This looks tough. Bishop uh, d5 would have been cute, but knight takes, and all I get is his rogue for my bishop. That's good, but it's not, uh, not winning. Not winning on the spot. Alright, so I think we started off 3-3 last time, and we lost the next game, even though we should have won it. So I think I'm still going to get paired down next game, but gotta win. Really keeping a guy down here. I got black again. or e5. Not sure yet. Ooh, it took. Ooh. I'd like to see that. Get the bishop pair for, for pretty much nothing there. That's always nice. Oh, now this bishop is a, a monster after the move g3. Put this 
rook on d8. It's very likely that this file opens up. I'm gonna tuck the queen away. Just offer me a draw. Wow. He just offered me a draw. Thinking about the move c5. Gotta open up the position for my bishops, and uh, probably now I need a rook on c8. Uh, after the new developments in the position, so this bishop on g2, but this bishop is gonna be very strong, I feel. Let's make sure we open things up. Let's get a rook on the c file. I might play d5. Also attacking the a pawn. Underestimated that one. Really underestimated that one. Maybe rook c7, but rook c1. Bit annoying. Bit annoying. Let's go rook here. So if he takes, I trap his queen to rook a8. But I'm expecting rook c1, and then I was planning to. Uh, or sorry, play knight here. Queen takes. I think I will drum up some counterplay there. Or will I? It's not ideal. Yeah, I'll do that. I think. I think my bishops will become active enough there. So queen takes. Okay. Queen takes again. I need to take and play knight takes e4, but uh, simply rook c7 at the end. It's not good, so if he takes, I'm actually, uh, actually in a bit of a pickle. But, uh, it seems very strange that he didn't take that. Obviously, I bluffed him quite successfully, it looks like. Because now my knight protects my pawn, so I always have rook a8. Not taking uh, my material. Queen c3, queen takes, so I should maybe take. Queen c3, queen takes, I might be five, but I should take this no matter what. Queen takes, I have queen c4, he has queen b7. Queen a7, I also have rook there, but he's gonna go back. Now I was thinking bishop d5 looks quite good. Quite decent. If queen takes, I might start with rook c8 first before taking. I, actually, no, maybe not. He has an 8d2, so I'll just take. 29 seconds. My bishops should uh, win this endgame for me. I put my bishop on c5, but I imagine he's going to play with rook d8 here. I'm going to have to take that. Not what I want to do. Soap. 
pattern circular. 100, man. I really we need to play a good player. The amount of bad players you have to play in order to play a decent rating is uh, <laughs> it's really astounding. Thanks for the streams. It eases the struggle a bit. No problem, Coach for Man. Five dollar donation. Thanks very much. I appreciate it. I appreciate it very much. I play faster. He's dusting me on time here. See that? Pre moving. That's so lazy. Not like not pre moving would have helped, but yeah, still win. I don't. I don't have that bad of a position. Could have been a lot worse. Could have been a lot worse. Faster. I think I have a pretty reasonable position. Seconds. Shouldn't have allowed that move. I had such a nice bind on him.
Opa. bad to play this knight back move, just king d4 and I would really do some damage to him there. Really do some damage. I don't know. That's too bad. Uh, Blundering the Pawn was also terrible, but I actually have a good position here, that's the thing. Uh, down a pawn and like, maybe even playing for a win. If I play king d4 here, I have no idea what he's going to do. That's too bad. We finally played a good player and we played a better game, but Blundering the Pawn was lame. But okay, it's Blitz, and I think made a good comeback. Because, uh, should play, be playing for a win in this endgame. King d4 is, is nasty. What does he do? Can't move his bishop. Uh, no knight moves look good to me. 96, let's say 96. I take it, and I never lose that position. It's impossible. I have all the dark square control. So, man, that's just poor. Bishop e4, you didn't understand? Miles of Fong? Well, I don't have much choice. I'm gonna lose a pawn. I mean, here I just simply don't know what to do. I'm gonna lose one of these pawns and I have to de decide which one I'm give giving up. If I play bishop c4, which I was thinking of, then knight takes, bishop takes f7, bishop e6. And bishop takes, knight takes, and knight takes g5. I didn't like that. What I, what I did, I think, in this position was fine. Bishop e4 was actually maybe a good move because it got me into an endgame where. Totally fine. Totally fine. And from here, just King d4 was kind of the wrong direction. Should have maybe focused on taking his pawns instead of playing the position, because uh, what ended up happening was I played it like more or less okay, but yeah, too tough to play this position because I was uh, gonna lose on time. That was bad. But. Uh, oh. 300. This guy's a fast player. I recognize his name. Bit of an easy game. Put a knight on f6, I think. I want to play queen e7, queen h4 as well. I'm not unhappy with my position, but uh, I do think that he has an easy game, which is not ideal. Trouble, aren't I? Yeah, I'm gonna 
just went to g8. Maybe I'm just in time. But I, I didn't like the idea of rook f1. King g7, for example, takes, takes, knight f5, wins on the spot. But I think I have knight g8. That's a Definitely don't think my position should hold together here. Maybe I should put rook g8. Maybe I should just play. <laughs> With knight g8, I don't like f6 at all. Looks like it just wins. King f2 just crushes me. I'm just like lost. Yeah, I think I'm lost. Ooh, an eight. I have a. Oh no, I don't have knight e4. Damn it. <laughs> then yeah, maybe king f2 does crush me. Yeah. This is uh, very bad. We're gonna have to improvise. King g8. <laughs> it's uh, very abnormal, but we'll see. I have to move bishop takes e4 in some lines once my king gets to a safe place. Just because this knight takes e4 trick might work in some variations, but in general, uh, he's just looking to see if he can find a mate here. I can't take because of Check if he has an eight. Oh yeah, he's just uh, going for it. Eh? Yeah, <laughs> I'm in trouble here. Oh, nice move! I didn't see that. Very nice. I'm gonna put my bishop on E8. I'd say that was a pretty good comeback. I'd say that was a pretty good comeback. But, uh, yeah, drawing, uh, drawing 2300 is not going to be ideal for the tournament situation. Jeez. That's embarrassing. Beautiful, Mustang won. 18 months. Thanks, bud. What a long time. Thanks for the support, Mustang. Mustang fan won. Jesus, what the fuck is this guy up to? What's the fucking password, boys? What's the password? Password is play. The 
password is play. That's what the password is. It's fucking play. I play d7, might have some ideas there, because I'm putting queen e8 and stuff, and queen f6 and queen mo. The, the password is play. Congrats, Manor Monkey. Feels good, man. Rook f8, queen d5. Knight d6, queen there, yeah, okay, queen here, I'm attacking this pawn, also this one, and threatening d7.
right. We did what we're supposed to do. We gotta win. We did what we're supposed to do. This guy's doing well. Four ninety, I am. really just shoving that down my throat, isn't he? What happens if I take everything on d4 and play queen e5? Oh, I place queen e3. Huh. Let's start with this. Jesus, what is this guy fucking up to over there? and also stops E5, I think. This is the way I should be doing it. I don't even know what I'm planning next. This is awful. I have no moves here. Oh man, no moves. This is too bad.
Again, that guy played so bad after I blundered that if I had just had more time, I probably could have flipped the shit out of him in that position. I almost made it in, for fuck's sakes. Yeah. Oh, man. Like, to lose that is just, alright, I'm done. <laughs> I'm fucking done here. Holy shit. Really killed him in the opening. He's happy with that. Allowing B4. So, man, the counterplay came out of nowhere. I, I was like, man, this is just over. All of a sudden, like... For him to come up with counterplay in this position, just like everything is so normal, is crazy. Where, I don't know where the counterplay just comes out of nowhere. Well, wow. okay. For losing games like this, it's definitely a uh, no surprise we're not qualifying because this we're playing we're playing down, playing this guy, playing way down, and uh, he's not dangerous based on the game, so. To lose it is just entirely my fault. Jeez. I can even just play Rook here and just give him the pawn and just take this. And my H pawn is going to win the game. For sure. Well, I did tilt after a mistake, Blatchy. Uh, simply the mistake, it's really hard to come back from. I don't know, unless you have a recommendation there, but. But, uh, I wasn't really tilted after the mistake, it's that I didn't see a way to proceed. Like, after this, I didn't see anything. He's simply going to take and push the pawn, and I didn't even know how to stop him. It's really bad. This is really depressing, like, when I'm playing the ICC Open, I still have a decent amount of points. I'm playing in 1900, it's just really fucking boring.
Nice song. Nice song. Man, fun, fun, fun.
at age four, what a strange move. What a completely strange move. Works. It's a working strange move. Pretty okay with this though. Uh, monster Knight there. This just looks amazing. Easy. He has d5, threatening queen h6 in a lot of lines. I'm just gonna go back here. It's a bit annoying. I should have been able to win a pawn, but I don't think it was good. that one is queen for a sec. Hallucination. Taking that, played knight f6. I won that? That's hilarious. I won that. Huh. He didn't move. 0, 0.0 to 0, 0.0. It's funny, I failed on the last uh, pre-move for some reason. And so did he, it looks like. Man, I'm really cold. What the fuck? I think there's a window opening. Holy shit. Oh my god. I'm getting a fucking rash. Alright, let's see if we can win the last game. Always nice to win the last game of the tournament. It feels good. I'm just playing 2200 Blitz the entire event, and I'm like 2800, it's very surprising. Because as you can see from the tournament, I'm like sort of near the top, uh, I'm not doing amazing, but uh, I'm like kind of near the top, but uh, playing such low rated people. Thank you. 
play e5 after I play knight a4, so I am technically threatening this fork. Good to see so many subs uh, in here. Bishop e5. This guy is on the weed. Bishop e3 was probably sufficient. Taken and played bishop d5 would have been a lot better. I have full control of the dark squares now, which is why I kind of like this uh, trade off. or c5 would have been pretty nasty. This is still really good, but uh, eh, eh, could have been a little better. are really strong, so I'm optimistic. Back and forth. The rooks can't cover everything. I underestimate how little 15 seconds is on ICC. It's really not a lot. Check. Fuck six. Check. Man. Terrible by that. Is my opponent fucking high? What's he doing? <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> he can play like rook b3, win my bishop with check. Uh, <laughs> this 
that potent fucking Fide Master weed. What the hell is he doing? It's so hard to to adjust because uh, 15 seconds on a lot of websites for me is a ton of time and I can pre-move and everything. But ICC is a lot different. 15 seconds is like just flaggable. <laughs> Some fucking Fide Master weed right there. Definitely not gonna qualify. What did we get? Eight and a half points out of eleven, but eight and a half, like it needs to be nine and a half. It needs to be nine and a half. And I had some I had the one game against the I am, which like I played him and he got counterplayed in nowhere. And then I had the only game I played against a good player, which was uh, the three thousand and uh, hung upon but still came back and then lost some time. Too bad. A lot of missed chances, but man, I only played one person over like 2,500, which is just embarrassing. I find this whole tournament extremely boring. Extremely boring, guys. Hope you guys uh, found some enjoyment out of the chess. Because everyone I was playing was really low rated, so. At least I was playing bad, so the games looked competitive. So I guess, I guess maybe the games were interesting to watch. And always, Always tense because I was uh, really low on time in almost every game. 